Because some regiments just wanted to stand out and be different. Um, we think of one. The Irish Brigade. Uh, they are the famed Irish Brigade. They were three regiments of Irishmen out of New York. And they were lumped together into one brigade. Uh, the reason they were, because nobody wanted to be with the Irishmen. <laughs> so they put them together. Well, there were three regiments in the Irish Brigade. They had a big, bright green uh, regimental flag. It had the gold trim around it like this. In the center of it, it had a gold heart, and then it had some Gaelic writing on there that somebody told me once what it meant, but I don't remember. Uh, but that was what they and when you saw those three flags, you know you were going up against the famed Irish Brigade because they just stood out. Uh, another was the Iron Brigade in northern Wisconsin, Oshkosh, Nino, Wisconsin, Boundary area. They had a bright red regimental flag, and it had a black hat in the middle. The hat was called a Hanson hat, and it was like a short uh, stovetop hat, but it had like a cowboy brim on it. Kind of a weird looking hat, but they all wore in the Iron Brigade. And so when you saw those black hats and those red flags, you knew who you were up against. So they came in all different sizes, different shapes. Uh, they got very creative. The ladies of Bruce Township weren't quite as creative as some of them, because this is their regimental flag. Uh, most people think this is the national flag, and it looks very much like a national flag. But this is the regimental flag of the 53rd Illinois. There are some thing, features on here that tell us that. First off, you can't probably can't see it from there, but afterwards we want to come up and get a close look at the flag. It says 53rd Regiment Illinois Volunteer on the center stripe. Now you see a lot of old Civil War flags with the name of the regiment on them, uh, but they would have never stenciled on a flag that was still in service and, and on duty. So regimental flags, they always put the name of the regiment on it. It's the purpose of the regimental flag. So they would not have done with, with the national flag. They would not have desecrated it like that. Now, after the war, and, and the flags were decommissioned once the regiment was disbanded, a lot of them took their flags and they put their whole history all over it, what battles they were in, who their commanders were. And you see a lot of them in, in the different museums and places. But they never would have done this. And this flag is in the same condition it was uh, when Poundstone was wounded on July 12, 1863. So we know this was on here while it was in duty. Uh, another thing that tells us that this is a regimental flag is it's not six feet by six feet. It's six feet by six feet six inches. It's just a little longer than it is square. Uh, and, and of course, the right, most flags are, have, have the three by five, you know, the ratio of three to five, three, three on the mast and five on the fly. Uh, but if you, did, if you did that, this would have to be 10 feet long because it's six feet wide. To keep that same ratio, it would have to be 10 feet long. You'd have to be a giant to be able to hold it up and not have it dragging on the ground. So that's why battle flags are only six feet by six feet. They made them more square. Uh, that's one reason. Another reason is by being, not having that other four feet on there, it was easier for the wind to make the flag stand out. And that was the purpose so that the flag was more visible. Uh, but that's another thing that tells us it's six, six inches too long uh, to be a government issued national flag. Uh, the biggest clue are the stars. Can everybody see the stars from there? Are the stars. Uh, in 1861, there were 34 states in the United States. So this is a 34-star flag. In July of 63, West Virginia joined the North, and they made a 35-star flag. But this was made in 1861. It's still a 34-star flag. You have two rows of seven on the top, one row of six in the middle, and two rows of seven stars on the bottom. Now, the national flag the spacing on the stars is the same throughout. Here they took these six stars and they stretched them out. So the six fills in and makes a perfectly perfect square. 
but if you ever Google 34 star flag, Civil War 34 star flag, there's a definite indentation. And you can see that that center line of stars is different. And so that's another clue that this was the regimental flag. So, all right, let's go back to the 53rd, right? The 53rds with Grant, they've been with Grant, they've 